Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. In my previous video, I was talking about uh, the various aspects or the factors or the cofactors that gave the emergence of the evolving of the Shastra or Natya Shastra as a whole from the holistic point of view. For some reason, for good or bad, if, we, if I really look at today the present day society, if I really look at, I see most of them getting various anxiety, various uh, pitfalls like falling prey to anxieties, succumb to the external factors like suicidal tendencies, depressions, what not, everything. The point over here is why we are not able to actually like get over those that is one point. If life is all about uh, four day life, wherein it is talking about, uh, you know, very existence and the very purpose of yours. And you are shortening it by killing yourself or by falling prey to that or by, you know, uh, trying to get habituated to the artificial practices and this is where Shastra or Natya Shastra's practical importance comes into picture. One needs to understand this from the viewpoint of uh, you know uh, non-performers. Non the very existence of Natya Shastra again is all about like developing self-confidence, self-reliance, self-esteem, whoever is lower or, you know, having uh, uh, all kinds of, uh, not having those knowledge base or whatever it is. It makes them come to at least near to perfection, not full perfection because not all of us are Ram Krishna Paramahamsas or uh, Ramna Maharshis or Swami Vivekananda or Shirdi Sai Baba or whoever, if I take, they are exceptions again. And that is one reason why Shankaracharya had to introduce uh, Advaita philosophy or uh, Ma Madhavacharya had to introduce Dvaita philosophy wherein it is more or less talking about uh, how to have that approach towards having that better living standards. Now, as I spoke, this Natya Shastra again is one of the, you know, short and simple approach which will help an individual to get to that goal point or the goal cast, the very aim or the purpose of his or her existence thinking. And that is one reason why I was talking about para pasyanti madhyama, vaikhari, rupa, icha shakti, jnana shakti, kriya shakti, shabda brahman, universal cosmic sound, 
कॉस्मिक क्रिएटिव वाइब्रेशंस आई मी माई सेल्फ एंड आर शेट वर्ग काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मास्चर्य स्वाध्याय एंड अध्याय एंड आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट सगुण शिव निर्गुण शिव ब्रह्म शिव वॉट नॉट एवरी थिंग एंड देन शक्ति एज अ होल एंड आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट परावाणी एंड दैट वॉइस ऑफ विराट पुरुषा हु इज दैट विराट पुरुषा अगेन इफ वी गो टू वेदिक एंड उपनिषदिक स्टडी उपनिधि उपनिषदिक टेक्स्ट्स देर यू विल सी कस्मय देवा या हविषा विधेमा दिस कस्मय देवा इज नथिंग बट जात वेदा जात वेदा अगेन रिफर्स टू द सन द राइजिंग सन विच गिवस यू नो दैट काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी इन टू द बॉडी नाउ होल ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इफ आई रियली एनगल्फ वॉट इज द प्राइमरी गोल by the by i am still in the introduction of what this shastra teaches and then i will get to the natya shastra as a whole and its uh you know literal meaning as to why we impersonate why we get into that why we empathize and you know act upon it do that enactment and what really are the things that an individual imbibes or you know takes in as i was speaking about para and apara vidya and avidya seers and the peer and the you know philosophers had this very basic idea even before introducing the shastra or natya shastra to basically cover up all of these points which i was talking about tantra and mantra being tantra aspect and mantra aspect coming next wherein it involves actions and hearing to those vibrations that's all together a different subject again one needs to understand and kala kala again is again time this human existence is dependent on the study or the or his or her travel between the space and the time understand this considering the factors of panch tan matras five gyanendriyas five karmendriyas and angas usage of angas and upangas and other factors come into the part of tantra again tantra and mantra in the positive sense not in the negative sense please kindly note this point now let's start with understanding this shabda brahman the shabda brahman again why do we need to understand this shabda brahman as i was talking about akara ukara makara that is pranava bija mantra and pranava mantra which is very common and which is very important and this is the primary aspect of the bindu in one's life and this is what is the primary focal point when we take lalita sahasranama or uh, uh, devi khadgamala this is the primary aspect which has akara ukara makara ikara ihinkara makara okay however once we understand the science of sound that happens deep within i don't know whether you people have experienced that for a dancer uh, ha- have had experienced this uh, very feeling of uh, 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 you know sa- sound that comes that vibrates 
as you dance for 10 or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever time that you are, that kala, wherein you will come to understand that positive vibrations happening deep within. That is what is Shabda. This is the effect of Shabda. As I was talking about the external sounds that come as a part of music that happens or the lyrics. Lyrics are nothing but the mantra aspect. There it happens. Now this is where you would be able to get connected with this universal cosmic sound. As I said, Akhila Anda Koti Brahma Anda Naika Our universe is at a multi-level. It has billions and trillions of, of galaxies and it has various you know small small sub planets as well moons and suns as we have Dvadasha Adityas 12 Adityas and for every planet there are moons again so now in order to get connected to that universal cosmic sound one needs to understand the Shabda first from the viewpoint of modulation that is where the voice modulation comes into picture one needs to understand this thus what happens is the moment he or she gets connected to the uh, a universal cosmic sound here is where you get connected to the cosmic creative vibration when i say cosmic creative vibration the moment this voice which comes from Muladhara creates some energy in the dancer as an individual. It starts from Muladhara, genitals of masculine and feminine. And thus it starts traveling from Muladhara to Sahasrara here. And that's where you get in convergence or in confluence with the universal cosmic sound understand this ladies and gentlemen and this is the systematic approach or the schematic approach or the schema of a dance or natya be it dramatization or the enactment or be it, you know, uh, uh, performing the dance form. They are, both are same, but over here in dramatization, what happens is, it is a dialogue delivery, but in dance form, you see that you hear the sound from the external part, that is Natuang, Natuanar, sings to the song and you hear to that songs from the ear and then catch those lyrics and thus enact that character portraying that and showing the output. You need to understand that and this is why it is the explosion. That explosion, explosive effect happens, start happen, happening from Mula. And this is directly related again to Bindu, Bindu nothing but that feeble energy that is there. This is what is called Shakti. And before getting to this, you are actually imbibing that Saguna Shiva, Nirguna Shiva, Brahma Shiva or whatever Shiva you are meditating upon them you meditated an individual meditates and thus gets to this point of nodal point that is called bindu and this is where that energy starts happening this is, is called shakti and this is existing in the at a 
cosmic creative vibrations that's where vibration starts happening and this kala is the time time period that is 10 or 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever it is and thus nada nada is reference to the nadis 72000 nadis where 72000 nadis get those vibrational forces <coughs> sorry about that and that's when you start realizing who is that me what am i why am i who am i and myself as an individual i am enacting this to show this give me that strength and this is what the schema of things start happening if you really see this part ladies and gentlemen understand this concept and this is the reason why this this is the practical importance of universal cosmic sound nada brahma this is called nada brahma as well and this is where those vibrations start happening then this is what is called cosmic creative vibrations and thus you are getting to understand this and that's when you are trying to play you get that to play show that positive energy out produce that positive energy as an output and thus this is distributed among the audience who are seeing who have the practical issues let's stop the subject over here for now this is one of the primary aspects which a dancer needs to understand in my next video i will be explaining about ichha shakti gyana shakti kriya shakti in cross reference to what how the in cross reference to the output just try to understand this from this schema of aspects i thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity again as a part of this request if you like please do like do share subscribe and this knowledge be not with you if you can share it with one and all to have that enlightening energy levels please do this and thank you again stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with you as a part of request i do many projects i do certain projects i am right now doing this project and i am requesting the viewers or the scholars or an individual whoever is watching in case if they have any kind of works related to you know transcriptional uh, works something like translation or you know whatever i do that as well i do write articles i do have my own blog site which i have shared please feel free to contact 9121379 double zero hoping that individuals would understand this and give me an opportunity to you know serve which would help me to substantiate and meet my regular works because there is a lot of work that is involved and i would really appreciate people appreciating my work and give the works to sustain myself thanks again stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with you have a nice day